Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Dungeon Warfare 2. It's a game that I've never played, never seen before. But, a lot of people are like, Wander, you gotta play this. Wander, why haven't you played this? Wander, have you played this? Wander, you should play this. So, I guess we're gonna play this. Alright, first blood. Tier map, got it. Well, see, see how it goes. I think I was always kind of disinterested in this game because it looks kind of... This? I don't know. To defend the dungeon from greedy adventures. This is your portal defended at all costs. Enemies will enter your dungeon from here. They'll run towards your portal. This is your life counter. Lose a life when an enemy enters the portal. If the counter reaches zero, the enemies win. Open the loadout menu. Cool. Basic. So we've got a dart trap and a spike trap. They're level one. Looks like they cost money. Got it. Build a dart trap here. Why? Build a spike trap here. Why? And begin. There was my money. Corner. Well, can I, can I add more? can. I'll just have a couple extra. That seems pretty fun. I I think the biggest issue that I would ever present with this game is purely just the fact that it looks kind of... Oh, it's hard to look at. But that's about the extent of it. Now, do these have this much, that much range? They actually do. So in that case, if I want to get one more dart trap, I'd probably point one here. And then beyond that, maybe one that, like, points here. Because it looks like they always come through here. Yeah, we also have a dart trap and a harpoon trap that just kind of exist in that general area. Pixel only a programmer could love. I think it works fine for what the game is. I think it's just one of those that, like... I am... I'm a vain man. Okay. Okay, he died. Perfect. I'm a vain man. I like my stuff to be... Okay, I can sell it. Looks like we gotta get a higher mastery level if I wanna actually upgrade anything. That's fine. I like my games to look good. And I think this works within the style that they were trying. But from a uh, from a purely like I guess part of it is also if I'm if I'm doing a YouTube video on anything it's just like it gotta look good. Is there a pause? No, but I can press spacebar to cycle. Perfect. But that said, gameplay wise, it's got some promise. have a whole lot of money to actually upgrade stuff here, but that's fine. Are we done? We're done. Flawless victory. Base EXP, multiplier, total EXP. Cool. Three gems, flawless victory, anything else? Done. Okay, we've got a trap slot, a gem bonus. Got two gems as a level up bonus, and starting gold increase. Okay, upgrade system. I like this. You can spend gems on traps to increase its power. Gems are earned by leveling up or clearing maps. You may reset the allotted gems at any time. In-game trap upgrades are locked, unlocked at master levels 5, 10, and 15. Got it. Push trap. Pushes enemies away. I wonder if you can push them into pits. Yep. That's absolutely a thing. So we can increase our starting golds. Starting lives. So the question is, do we upgrade what I have? Mastery skills. Gain one skill point per each level up. Use the skill points to learn or upgrade skills. There are three skill trees in the game. Each tree encourages a unique playstyle. Assigned skill points can be reset at any time. Experiment with different things that suit you. Items. Adventurers drop all kinds of valuable items. You can equip these items in your inventory by moving them to the equipment slot on the left. Alright. Well, beginner's luck. I'll grab it. So it looks like I only have so many things I can equip... There's also transmutation slots. All right, this has got some promise to it. Let's take a look at skills. Adjacent traps of the same type increase rearm speed of the trap by 6%. Upkeep reduces the price penalty on building multiple traps of the same type. Decreases the trap refund penalty. Newly built traps have 105% increased rearm speed for X number of cents. Seconds. Okay. Increases the physical force exerted by traps by 10%. Rearm speed of traps by 1%. Duration of burning by 
20%. Zoomable traps. Alright, honestly, I think I'm going to go down the middle tier. And I guess I'm just going to put a whole bunch of points into linkage. Okay, so seeing as I've got linkage, we can go for the push trap. But I think I'm just going to invest gems into spike trap. And a bit of starting gold. Oh, I missed two other skill trees? Oh, you're right. But there's only one trap of a certain type on the map. Okay, it's re rearm speed. See, I was thinking tree one, two, and three. I was like, well, it's pretty basic, but okay. Let's see, decreases trap cost, teleports a unit. Entering the portal back to the entrance has a 40 second cooldown. Increases rune EXP multiplier. Bonus per rune. Each different source of damage done by your traps in combination deals 2% more damage. Increase the, decrease the cost of trap ultimate upgrades. Second ultimate trap upgrade can be purchased by paying an additional 10,000 gold. Increases the act efficient range of projectile traps. Projectiles have a 5% chance to pierce through enemies. Okay. And money. More EXP from all sources. Well, here's the question. How much one Durbo do we go? I mean, really what we want is looting. Thirty percent more gold from kill streaks. Kill streak timer expires slower. Some total of 0.1% of the unspecked gold will be awarded upon the start of every wave. So we have interest. Lightning damage has a 1% chance to stun for 2 seconds. Gain more gold from all sources. I'm going to probably try and work my way up to looting. Because I think looting is really good. But yeah, let's let's be a, a greedy boy. Glacial Cliff. Clear the map. Prevent one or more doors from destruction. Clear the map within 5 minutes. Okay, special objects. There are special objects scattered in dungeons. Some of them are friendly, while others are hostile. These objects can be destroyed. Your traps will attack hostile objects if they can. Mouse over the objects to find out more about them. Generates gold for you. So we do not want anybody to destroy that, presumably? Okay, so I've got a push trap there and there. It looks like most of my enemies are coming... this way. Alright, let's just give this a shot. Oh, we don't have linkage. So I guess there's not as much of a reason to link up here. Definitely good map for the push traps, though. Honestly, let's just let's just make let's just play the floor is lava. Make the floor is lava. The floor is lava, right? Easy peasy. Start to wrap up. What else do we do? More spikes. Seems simple enough. How many waves do we have? 11. I wonder if I can... Ah, I can call them early. Oh. Okay, that's something to keep in mind.
Okay. There we go. So I didn't prevent the doors from destruction. Skip all that, we get a tome. Cool. I might want to redo that one now that we have all this stuff. And now, now that I know. Okay. Level up. Objective reward. Choose a reward. Trap mastery. Oh. Let's go spike traps. Oh, I see. So every single one of these gets me a bonus. So let's go for the skill point. That's cool. Barricades. We're amazing. Makes sense. Ooh. That's really good, actually. Let's grab that. No, they don't break them, I hope. Oh, has one bonus mastery point. I got it. I got it. All right. Do I go for the push traps? Yeah, sure. Okay, let's take a look at skills. It is time for Derva. Needs three more skill points on the skill tree. Okay, that'll do for now. Let's... Do we do it again? No, let's come back later. All right. This is really good, actually. Clear the map. Clear the map without using Spike Trap. Son of a... Okay. Some, uh, some enemies do hate barricades. Good to know. All right. Well... Go with those. Take a look. I understand. <laughs> Trying to decide on this one. One thing I will say is... Can I... Can I go back to the drawing board on this one? If I quit out... We gotta upgrade the pusher trap. It's... It's like a law or something. I guess I'll grab some dark traps. Alright, back to Riverside. And let's give this another shot. Looks like everything else is good. Forcefully pushes units away. So, I think baseline... I'm just going to put that there, just to guarantee they go through this path. Oh, we have a vault here. Good to know. Sorry, what? Okay, we gotta restart this one. As... As much as I want to have... Nothing but... Let's utilize some more. Some more traps kind of all over the place. There we go. I thought I saw some... Oh, dudes with grappling hooks. I get it.
There we go. It seems to be working better. I like the push traps, but they're just a little... A little rough for what I want to do here. Whereas just madcap dart traps all over the place. Seems like it's going to work better for me. Okay, vault is open. We have bear traps as a consumable trap. Okay, unlock the first consumable trap. They they are free, but have a cooldown. Use as often as you can. Okay, in that case. I'm just gonna pepper my final section. I wonder if I can actually put... No, I was really hoping I could put defenses like that there. Okay, there we go. Let's finish off a couple of these guys. Because they're starting to get through Spike Alley. No! Oh. Apparently you can kill enemies by just place it, placing barricades on them. Juicy indeed, I, I guess. Did I forget to change the stream information? I bet I absolutely did. Well, it looks like this will just play itself while I'm all tabbed. Yep. It is what it is. I am lazy. Alright, is now fixed. is a bit of a nuisance, but we've got bear traps aplenty. Which I should have been using a lot more. Oh, you're right. The vault not blocking the path anymore is actually really hurting me. Probably, it's fine. I'm so glad consumable traps are... Are on a cooldown. I think that's a really neat setup. There we go. Alright, so we've unlocked snare, everything else is good. Okay, trap slot. Gems gem bonus, gold bonus, and runes. Enemies will drop runes from now on. Uh, let's see. Could get seven gems. That's really good. Starting gold gold multiplier by... Whoa, shoot. That's really good. But no, we're going to go for the skill point. We're going to need as many of those as possible. Uh, let's see. Trap mastery. Mastery point for harpoon trap. Starting life is doubled. Oh, that's equipment, though. Let's get... Let's stay away from equipment. It's good, but... Not permanent. Okay, so we've unlocked some new things. Lesser Labyrinth. I why it's got the infinite. Clear the map. Survive a wave with six wrath, wrath level. Rush all waves. All right. Well, let's close this. Let's take a look at some things. So we got the harpoon trap. Large harpoon and a rope. Then pulls the victim towards the trap. Unique pulled by mu uh, multiple harpoon traps takes tear damage. Interesting. Consumable slot. Any consumable trap in the slot will receive a bonus. Uh, that's really good. That's really good. Let's see what else we got, though. Skills. I 
like the idea of the consumable traps, but I don't care. One more point in this skill tree. Starting goal, more EXP. As long as you have 2,000 unspent gold. Eh, let's not do that one. Let's go for the rush, wave rush bonus. This one doesn't seem to have a upper limit. That's cool. All right, let's go back to Kaipora for a second, because no, I guess these are, this is T2 mine map. T1 jungle map. Clear the map, clear it without using the dart trap. Okay. Items. First and foremost, tome. I'll take it. Okay. So what do we invest in? Probably just the spike trap. I might as well unlock this. Oh, this does a whole lot of damage. Trap upgrade. Oh! We now upgrade the trap by right-clicking it. That's good to know. Uh, let's see, what else do we invest in? We go for the starting gold bonus, but that's minor. Okay. So, no dart trap, absolutely spike trap, absolutely harpoon trap. Okay, moving walls. There are moving walls in this dungeon. You can place traps on them. Use it to your advantage. If a wall moves to block the only enemy path, they will start attacking your barricades. Alright, good to know. We also have a tomb. Releases powerful enemies when destroyed. Worrying? Who are these things? Demons. Friendly. So clear the map and don't use dart traps. Gotcha. Well, honestly... Kind of want to just stick a couple of barricades down. And make him take the very long route. Oh. Nope. Oh, for a second there was something about enemies coming after me. I guess not. Let's do a harpoon there. Harpoon there. And... A harpoon here. It doesn't seem like push traps are really gonna have a whole lot of effect. Well, I'll make it work. Alright. Let's remember to bear trap the heck out of everything. What the hell? The bison will exit through here. Bison, I guess. Get a push trap. There we go. Okay, right. Let's just kill him. He dead. I'm just gonna... I'm just going to abuse this initial area. I want to protect the bison. I don't know if it can die. I'm assuming it can. Oh, yeah. Because 
Because I'd, I'd like my bison to live. Got him. I guess let's get a pusher trap and another harpoon. Because they're starting to get through no matter what. But this area is fine, and the bison will just do horrid things to them. Oh, I guess that's a bit of an issue. This this push trap is bad spots. Maybe it's fine. I mean, how many more waves do we even have? Not that many. Okay, that... Some of those screams are absolutely straight out of Command and Conquer. Like that... Ah, ah. Well, so far so good. I'm not sitting on a whole lot of money here, but that's okay. And despite how this game looks, it's probably one of the better, like, tower defense games I've ever played. I would absolutely love to play this cross with, like, more of a, a Dungeons 3 style game. I don't know how many of you guys have played, like, Dungeons 3 or Dungeon Keeper or anything like that, but I liked the game's but at least for Dungeons 3, it never really felt like the traps were that good. They were... It was okay. I think I find myself wishing that... You know, they had something closer to this with just, like, a whole bunch of different traps that are actually really good. And so you, you still have this, like, massive group of you know, your own units that are mining and prepping things, so you can even send them out into the caves. Okay. Learning Flawless Victory. Uh, let's see. Increased rarity of items found. Starting gold multiplier or a skill point. Uh, these are tough. I'm gonna go for item rarity. Okay, clear the map, rush all waves. Rushing all waves is something I gotta remember. Oh, I don't have any more skill points. Well, do we try the lesser labyrinth? Clear the map. Oh, this area is randomized every time it's been cleared. Map tier increases every time it's been cleared. Oh. Some dungeons have fragile walls. These can be destroyed by nearby explosions or enemy attacks, just like normal walls. You can place traps on them. However, when a wall is destroyed, any traps on it will be destroyed too. Good to know. Oh, I can't change my loadout. If I do restart, maybe I can change it. Select loadout. There it is. Alright. Let's get rid of the harpoon trap in favor of the dart trap. I get some more gems? Yeah. Just upgrade that a couple of times. Spike trap is good. Dart trap is amazing. Let's take a look at this one. It seems like the kind of map that you'd want to... Oh. Actually, instead of the pusher trap. Look at the harpoons. Because this seems like a great harpoon alley. Uh, wait, oh, what? Oh, randomly generated map. That's why it super awkward. I don't like this design.
It's just bad. I guess this is pretty much as good as I'm going to be able to get it. All right, start game. Good as I think I'm gonna get it. What? What? I wasn't really expecting balloons out of this. Let's just let's just rely on spike traps for this one. Right, put that there. That way they have to go through. Uh hold up, sir. None of that is acceptable. Let's get a, another barricade down. I am not really comfortable with this game saying juicy at me. It just feels very strange. Okay, Ooh, regular spike traps are pricey. So, single target or impale? Oh. Okay, there we go. So, what else do we have? Increases damage again. Deals 10% of the missing health as bonus damage. Caps at 200% of base damage. Every second the trap stays inactive, damage the next attack is increased. Oh, that's... That's pretty cool. Okay. Not much I can really do here. We're gonna keep waiting for more spike trap upgrades. I'm, I'm gonna protect my little demon boys. They're just... I'm not gonna say they're precious or anything like that, but... I mean, what else do I do? Oh, let's see. Yeah, what else do I even have? Not too much. Just, yeah, more spike traps. I want to put a dart trap up there. That should give it decent coverage. Not the best, but decent. Okay, what else we got? Not much. Yeah, let's just let it go faster. We're good. There we go. So I get oil. 